So guys, boom! Since 2022 has started, please turn up the volume and listen to what I'm about to say. Since the calendar year 2022 has started, this man Shaden Sharp, the seventh overall pick in the past year's 2022 NBA draft, has only played in five minutes of competitive basketball five minutes if you didn't hear me correctly the first time he's gone one for three from the field throughout this entire year and he's only scored two points two points guys the shade and star story to me is very very interesting and it honestly potentially could be getting worse i wish that i was just saying that as a saying that it's honestly getting worse but in the five minutes that he did play he unfortunately got injured with a small lateral tear in his shoulder and he's unfortunately also going to miss the entire rest of the nba summer league <sighs> man guys i don't know how it can get any worse than this if it's not one thing it's another if he's not playing for kentucky it's another thing if he's if he's guys i just feel like this whole shade and star story is just very unfortunate and it's honestly all over the place and i, I just feel like we just all want to see just how shade and sharp is going to play forget how he looks against competition we just want to know what does this man shade and sharp look like out there on the court i've been a person i've been a youtuber that's been raving about how good of a player that he is i've been telling my friends i think shade and sharp he has the potential he has the tangibles he has the build he has the build he has the frame he has the skill set he just needs to prove the writers and he just needs to prove all the doubters wrong as well i mean like i said he was the seventh pick in the nba draft and he barely he didn't even play and the fact that he was still a top 10 pick in the draft definitely says a lot about his potential and that these nba teams they believe in a guy like shaden sharp which i honestly personally do believe in as well he just needs to get that opportunity now it was interesting to hear what damian lillard had to say about um shaden sharp i mean to me i'll let you guys hear it i'll actually play the video think of of, of shaden so far um, I mean, I've, I've been in the facility every day, you know, just training, you know, working on my body, doing just normal maintenance stuff, uh, lifting on the court. And um, he's been there, you know, since, you know, a little bit after the draft. We, we played some ones, you know, from certain spots. He jumped in and played with us. Um, so he's, you know, super talented, super gifted. Um, but it's, you know, you just got to get out there and play. You know, you got to see it in live action and put him in a mix and, you know when you when you pick that high you know that's you just got to have that pride about going out there and showing people why and you know living up to to being that high of a pick you know i think everybody that's been picked in that top 10 they go out there saying you know i'm a top 10 pick and i need to show these people um i've been there you know now he's in that he's that in that position and you know we're looking forward to him coming out and showing why I don't know about you guys, but to me, the vibe to me just did not sound too confident or too highly praiseable from Damian Lillard to Shaden Sharp. I mean, he said that he was he plays with them one on ones. He's and from what I've also been hearing too, that he's not too dominant out there whenever he was playing at Kentucky, even also at the Trailblazers as well. Then also Damian Lillard said that now he's in that position that he has to be a star. He potentially has to prove all these people wrong. There's just a lot of like miss. There's just too much going on. I mean, I don't know if he's a workaholic. Does he give you all that workaholic vibe? Or is it just me? I kind of feel like he just goes through the motions. And I feel like he's not a guy that's just like, I may be wrong. I'm just telling you from what like I see. So don't, I'm not quoting and saying he's not a workaholic or anything like that. I'm just saying off the vibe that he does give off. He kind of just, you know, goes through the motions and just, you know, goes, goes about it that certain type of way. And really just hearing from what I heard whenever he was at Kentucky, just not being a guy that was really out there like that too. You know, that whole situation was honestly just a mess guys i just personally hope that shaden sharp i hope he heals fast i hope this injury is not as bad as what they're making it seem to be i really hope that he's utilized in the right manner for the portland trailblazers because i'm the one of the biggest damian lillard fans he's my favorite player in the league i just i i just wish he would honestly leave the blazers i mean I, I the blazers is cool but damian bro you need to win a ring like you need to win a ring you're not gonna win a ring probably in portland unless the shade of sharp just becomes this superstar and he's here to save the day but please bro if y'all need to trade all these players to get kevin durant 
please do it because with the roster constructed as good as Shane Sharp can be bro I don't know how that's gonna help your team win an NBA title but that's besides the point Shaden Sharp like I said I really hope that he's utilized in the right manner I hope he becomes a star he has the skill set he just needs to play that's it we just want to see Shaden Sharp play this entire situation is honestly very very interesting and is honestly very very confusing to me and from just what we saw whenever he did play he did look kind of cool out there I mean he did go one for three but we really can't really judge him off of five minutes so I'm not gonna jump the gun I'm not gonna say this this and that I just want to see Shade to start play you watching this video I do want to know your honest opinions on Shade and Sharp how good of a player do you think he's going to be? Do you think he's going to help the Blazers? Do you think he's going to be a star? Do you think that they wasted the pick on him? What are your honest thoughts about Shaden Sharp? Just comment down below, guys. Let's get a great basketball conversation started. Make sure to smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Make sure to join the Discord if you haven't already. Free Discord link is in the description. And only join it if you're not sensitive and you love talking about basketball. Yeah, with all that being said, guys, thank you for watching. And it's been another episode of Juice Made TV. Peace.